So today I'm going to be building a winch mount for the Smitty Built X20 10,000 pound winch we rebuilt the other day. Uh, the, the main use of this is going to be just a portable utility winch. Like if someone gets stuck, they can borrow it, or if someone needs to winch something up on the trailer, we're going to weld some brackets to the trailer over there and we'll just be able to slide it in a receiver tube and just utilize one of these uh, uh, tow, tow and receivers. To, uh, to mount it in there. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, main thing about this uh, this build is I didn't buy anything for this project specifically. This came with my replacement winch. And I didn't use it. I just found that in my toolbox. Uh, this metal I bought to do another project. Didn't use it. Found this. Found it. Uh, I'm going to use this chain to make handle. I just found it somewhere and uh, all right so the winch was 21 inches wide I just want to make it a little bit wider so I'll have room to mount my uh, chain handle so I'm just gonna go with 24 just give a little mark there and I'll use this angle iron and this flat bar to make a bracket to mount my uh, I don't know what you call that thing the guide like a it's not a roller guide, they call it something else for the synthetic rope. It's just a smooth, smooth guide. Alright, so let's get that cut 24 inches. Get the gas axe out. Alright, and I'm going to be welding these with a DC welder, this Everlast inverter welder with uh, 7018 rods. And it's pretty imperative when you're welding DC, I don't know about AC, but you've got to prep and grind all this mill scale and any rust or impurities. Have, it's got to be extremely clean for the weld to be good. So we'll go ahead and grind the, all the edges down and get it all ready to, to weld it up. using this receiver hitch and welding it as center close to center as I can get it and just really beading up the booger welds to make sure she's strong enough get a c-clamp probably need to measure it first and you want to make sure you get a tape measure that the end it's nice and loose. That's the only way you can get good measurements. All right, so center. Okay, kinda, kinda center.
double all those up for good measure. All right, well, I'm no welder, but my granddad taught me when I was young, so he to do some just farm welds around. But he always told me that to make sure you had it right, your flux should just flake right off of there. So that may not be the prettiest or anything, but it's always worked for me. So that's good enough. this will this to get my uh, my faceplate mount position a little further away from the winch because the spool will kind of be rubbing on it so we'll just get it out there somewhere
next we need to drill our holes to mount the winch itself and these need to be you know as accurate as possible so if it didn't come with a stencil in the package and in this case this one's old so i don't i don't have all that stuff anymore uh, what you can do is take a piece of paper or cardboard and just lay it over it and line it up really good and uh, put your little tape on there so it doesn't it doesn't move around after you make your make your uh, cut just tape it down pretty good and then you can feel where your holes are and just mash them out or you can cut them cut the full circle it doesn't matter just as long as you have a, a pattern that you can follow when you start when you take it to the drill press and try to keep this thing from moving if you can All right, so I'll tape that to the to the bracket and take it to the drill press and get those holes drilled out. All right, so I got this I got the holes drilled and I got it uh, cleaned up and degreased pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with the old Rust Oleum primer and paint combo, and uh, we'll let it dry overnight and then we'll come back and mount our mount our winch on it. All right, well, I got impatient and I went ahead and mounted it. So, it turned out pretty good. Got your chain carry handles on each side. I think she's ready to rock and roll. I'll get my I had to take my line out to spool it back through the, the guide. But we'll get the line put back in and she'll be ready to rock and roll. Only cost me two cans of Rust-Oleum.